So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's food vlog, I'm gonna be showing you what a Hong Kong afternoon tea meal is like. And I'm taking you to one of my favorite places for afternoon tea. This is Chui Wa. It's actually quite popular all throughout Hong Kong. Many branches, you can find it essentially everywhere across Hong Kong. And they've got some, uh, they've got a really wide selection of dishes. They got things you absolutely must try, as well as those classic afternoon tea snacks, which are always nice to have. So I'll be showing it to you in this video. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel right now. Like if you enjoy this video and feel free to comment any suggestions or feedback in the comment section. I really appreciate it. Let's get on to the video. So hi guys, we're at Chui Wa, which is a really popular place in Hong Kong to have an afternoon tea meal. And right now we're going to be trying some of the dishes they have to offer. Not necessarily um, things you'd have for afternoon tea, but some of their specialties. Some things you really have to try when you come to Chui Wa. So of course with Chuiwa being a tea restaurant, their milk tea is really one of their specialties. One of the things you have to get here. As you can see, you can get it both iced or hot. And personally, I'm a really big fan of the iced milk tea, but some people also prefer the hot version. So if you ever you're here at Chuiwa, the milk tea is definitely a must try. So here we have the iced milk tea, my favorite. So just gonna give it a nice quick stir. That's really good. So typically Hong Kong milk tea is a mix of black tea with some condensed milk and yeah basically they just mix it all together in a nice ratio. You get this nice brown color for your milk tea and I think it's a really nice mix in terms of the taste as well because it's just, just the right amount of sweetness. Some may say it's a bit too sweet but you still get the really nice tea flavor from the milk tea so I think that's a very important factor. And yeah, I think it's, it's one of the reasons why Hong Kong milk tea is one of my favorite drinks ever. So the first dish we ordered is this ox tongue curry. And their curry is actually a big specialty that they have here. Typically, you can have the beef brisket with the curry. But because I love ox tongue a lot, I decided to get the ox tongue variant. So it's actually a Malaysian style curry. And it's something which most Hong Kongers actually have adapted as part of Hong Kong cuisine. So yeah, like I said, you can get it as, with beef brisket. You can get it with pork chop or other meats. But I'm going to try the ox tongue version right now. You can see we've got a really nice thick curry sauce for the ox tongue and I, like, I just like to put this on the rice so it, it adds a nice touch. You also get some very nice big pieces of ox tongue. That's the main attraction for this dish. Look at that. So let's give the curry sauce a taste first. It's a really nice curry sauce. It's very very full of flavor it actually got a nice kick to it it's actually a bit sweet which is quite surprising but i think that's just the mix of flavors you have it's sort of sweet spicy and then it has a touch of savoriness very aromatic and here i'll try it with the, i'll try it on the rice as well mm. yes, that's that very good in the rice because the rice is very good, um, very good at absorbing all that curry sauce. And now let's try the actual main attraction, which is the ox tongue. So you have a really good bite of the ox tongue. Mm. Oh wow! That is very tender. You think like it's a thick piece of meat it might be hard to chew through but it's actually very tender no problems at all in terms of the the texture honestly if you if you don't even think of this as ox tongue it's really just a very delicate piece of meat and it's very flavorful at that so here we have the potatoes let's try the potatoes as well mm. just simple potatoes but I think it's like the rice, it does a very good job at absorbing the sauce. So instead of being bland as you would originally think, it's actually very flavorful with a curry flavor as well. So overall, really nice combination of the flavors, the textures, and as a, as a package, as a whole, it's really nice. 
And the second dish which we got is the pork chop with a fried rice. Essentially like a pan fried pork chop. They put it with some onion sauce or toss it with some egg fried rice. Just an, a really nice combination and we're gonna try it right now. And here we have the pan fried pork chop with the egg fried rice. got a very nice exterior very very crunchy edges and then the pork shop meat is actually very tender as well I think they use like five spice powder as the the seasoning but then the, the meat itself is really tender so now let's give a try to the rice It's essentially your typical yang chow fried rice, um, except for the shrimp. The base of the yang chow fried rice is very similar. So I think overall it's a really nice combination because the savoriness of the pork chop gets tamed a bit by the fried rice. So overall it's a very nice set. So we ordered two more things and these are probably the definition of what an afternoon tea snack is like. So I'll be showing it to you, it's coming up right now. So the first one is the egg tart, very classic, a very popular Hong Kong snack to have. And the second is the pineapple bun, it's another popular Hong Kong snack. And typically it's called the pineapple bun because of the, the top, it looks like a pineapple I guess. And then it's served with some butter. Give the pineapple bun a bite. Mm. In case you're wondering what's what the top actually is, it's just some. Um, it's like a, a sugar finish to the top. It gives it a nice crispy, crispy exterior. But then the bottom is still actually very soft, and it's a nice contrast of textures. You have the crunchy, the crunchy top, and then on the bottom in the middle, it's still very nice and soft. Overall, I think this is why. Most locals and even tourists love to have the pineapple bun. Now let's try the egg tart. Mm. So they serve it actually very warm here, which is the right way, right way to serve your egg tart. And then in this place, they, they have the normal pie crust compared to some places where they have like the flaky, the more flaky kind of crust. This one is a normal pie crust, but the filling is really, really, really fundamental. The eggs are very, they're not too sweet. They just have the right amount of sweetness and you can still taste like the, the yolkiness of all the, the eggs mixed together. So the combination again of the crispy outer area and then that creamy yolky middle. Another popular Hong Kong snack to have. So that's going to be it for this video guys. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed the content I put out for you. Um, leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. I would, once again, feel free to put any suggestions in the comment section below. I definitely take those into consideration. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.